I know you know where you are tonight. I believe you know why you are here tonight. I'm also sure God brought you here. Whether you are American, African, Estonian, Russian, Greek, Roman, we are in the presence of the Lord. I say we are in the presence of the Lord. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I said, thank God. I wrote something here. Messages come and go. Teachings come and go. But vision and revelation will never depart. How many will say hallelujah? hallelujah? Those of us who know how God brought about this conference. Three years ago, a thought came to the bishop. He called us, his co-bishop, revealed the secret to us, told us what God said. We started the voice of God. To see how many nations are here presented. The cloud of glory is moving. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Let me hear you say hallelujah. In our church, when I say praise the Lord, everybody will say hallelujah. And I tell you, Bishop Paul can tell you I'm not here to lie to you. We have a big church. I mean we have a big church. When I say praise the Lord, are you hear the thousands say holy is like an ocean. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then when I say hallelujah, you hear them say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I say The kingdom is not in competition. The kingdom is complementable. I came here, I saw this orchestra, I saw instrument. I rushed to the bishop, I said, who is the music director? He showed me, I said, Clarice, from now you and I, we are friends for life. I said, have the permission of your husband to be your brother. And you be my advisor on the latest thing from the throne of God. So today we have the best choir in the continent of Africa. And uh, I'm sorry to say, it's bigger than this. The choir is bigger than this. That's the truth. My choir is bigger than this. I say my choir is bigger than this. That's the truth. That is no putting this place down. This is a learning place. But if what you see is so good, double it. <laughs> Thank you. That's all right. I saw it from here. I said, God is a choir. 1978, I met Bishop Mayors. I said, Papa, I said, the thing I'm hearing from this choir is not to die in D.C. Give me choir to go to Africa. Right. He gave me 30 people to follow to Nigeria. They spent 12 days. <laughs> they taught us new music, new melody, prophetic way of singing. After that time, all the universities in Nigeria now sing like Evangel Temple. Everybody say kingdom. kingdom. Now I want to say this before I let all of you sit down. I do not believe that the kingdom is in the spirit. I believe that kingdom is of the spirit, not in the spirit. That's my theology. 
kingdom is of the spirit, not in the spirit. Of the spirit. Kingdom is a part of spirituality, revelation. But you don't practice kingdom in the spirit and live the natural. Do you hear me? Holy Ghost doesn't use guitar. Spirit filled people use it. Well, sit down. <laughs> sit down. Thank you, Owen. Are you ready? Yeah. Three scriptures that changed my life and brought me to God's revelation about the kingdom. One day I came across a scripture. He says the kingdoms of this world has become. Everybody say become. become. Say it again. Become. One more time. Become. The kingdoms of this world. Pastor John has become. The kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. I'm a university professor, but I'm not a theologian. When something become, it became. <laughs> that is not going to be after rapture. How will earth become heaven after rapture when it has become before rapture? It ahusas discovery. <laughs> when I heard that, the first thing I checked about was what power has limited the entire people of the continent of Africa. I discovered it was the power of witchcraft and demon spirit. Uh huh. So I said, well, if the kingdoms of this world has become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ, there's a power for substitution. If light cannot replace darkness, you don't need light. If Healing cannot replace sickness. You don't need healing. If life cannot replace death, you don't need life. And if conversion cannot bring regeneration and transformation, there's no need to be born again. How many heard what I said? If you say, I am born again, it means all things pass away. All things become new. If the old and the new are together equal, no difference, then there's no conversion. Did you hear what I'm saying? Now, if the kingdom is going to become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ, the kingdom of light must take over from the kingdom of darkness. How many will say hallelujah? hallelujah. The problem with civilized nations is that they cast out devil when he's not at home. That's your biggest problem. You see ugly dress, you say this is witchcraft. No, come to Africa and find out what witchcraft was. Was, say was. was. Say was. was. <laughs> Go to Mexico and find out what witchcraft was. was. Say was. was. I took that 
power and authority and revelation and began to throw challenges to demons and power of darkness that have held our people for years limitlessly. I said, God, if your kingdom can substitute and replace the kingdom of darkness, give me that power. Not to harass the devil, but to cast him out. Not to negotiate with witches and wizards, but to dislodge them. And God agreed. And I heard him say, it's yours. Everybody says, it's yours. So I decided to face it as it was. And today I'm glad that Africa, that you taught was the headquarter of witchcraft is now the headquarter of redemption. Yeah. I read in USA Today one billion dollars to be invested to open a new witchcraft show place in America. God's own country. We in this country have a big job to do. That is why God told this man, wall congress on the kingdom. So that the man from Chicago, the man from Dallas, the man from Houston, the man from Tulsa, we talk less of jacking and talk of devil casting. Yeah. Revival is no revival if it cannot bring a change. Yeah. Say kingdom. kingdom. Say kingdom. kingdom. Say kingdom. kingdom. That is what we are here for. What did God say we can do with his power? How can we do it? I know many of you believe that the kingdom is in the spirit. I do not come to argue. I have come to say kingdom can be of the flesh. You say, what do you mean? He became flesh and dwelt among men. When he was spirit, he couldn't cast out devil. That's a big, I do not want to go to argument. When Jesus was in heaven before he was born, he never cast out devil. But when he came to this world where devil dwell, he cast out devil. That is simple. Show me from Genesis to Revelation where Jesus healed anybody from heaven. Never. But when he came here, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. He became flesh and was in God and God was in him. When he was in God and God was in him, they joined together to do a work of deliverance and healing. Amen. The kingdom of God can be used to remove witchcraft from your society. Amen. I love your housing. I love your building of good projects. But if you have demons to deal with, you can't build too many houses. Do you hear what I'm saying now? Okay, let us remove the devil first. The power to repair the society 
is the ability to take demons out and put God. Look at all the housings in this area. When devil was in charge, no new building. Find out from the bishop. When devil was in charge of this area of Atlanta, the church could not even prosper. But when the church removed the devil, the church is now building a cathedral. Do I make sense to you? When the devil was in charge of this place, most of the members lived on welfare. Now that the church is no more under the devil's oppression, she's now living by warfare. The church is now teaching people, Dr. Vazini, how to get out of prayer line to enter power line. Did you hear what I'm saying? So everywhere around Chapel Hill Harvester, building, 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 what? Government change hands. I said government change hands. Where the devil was the master, Jesus is now Lord. Did you hear what I'm saying? In my city, read African history. Read of Benin City, B-E-N-I-N-C-I-T-Y. Up to 21 years ago, they used human beings for sacrifice. Human beings for sacrifice. When God raised me, he said the government will not stop it but you. I said, who? <laughs> I said, my grandparents are involved. He said, you will start from there. You start from your house. I said, they will kill me. He said, not when you are in me. <laughs> for your life is hidden Christ and Christ is hidden God. So anybody who wants to kill, you have to kill God first, then kill Christ before killing you. (laughs) Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Those of you who are looking for vocabularies, you are looking for vocabularies. You will not find it tonight, but you'll find life. Mm. The kingdom of God is not in grammar. It's in power. Power. Say power. power. Say power. It's time for the kingdom people to wake up and demon leaders will come and say, Can you say hallelujah? The Bible did not say run from the devil, he shall run from you. He said resist the devil and he will flee from you. Say hallelujah. So I said to God, do you say I can cast that devil? He said, yes. Do you say that that is my job? He said, yes. I said, fine. I went to, I went to the roundabout of my city. I fasted seven days. And the Lord told me to go around the roundabout. I don't know what you call roundabout here, but in English we call it roundabout. <laughs> huh? Intersect, intersection, the center of your city, downtown. You know downtown? In Africa, it's now uptown. He said, go around that downtown, the heart of the city, 14 times. The last night, the 14th day, declared that the city is now taken over by God. So I went to the king, I said, your majesty, I got instruction from God. He told me that all the witches and wizards in this town are going to lose their jobs. (laughs) He said, don't take risk. He said, don't take risk. And I knew it is risky not to take risk. (laughs) 
He said, how are you going to do it? I said, by the Holy Ghost. And was the Holy Ghost. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. First night, second night, the third night, about 2 a.m., when I was walking around, it starts at 12 midnight, ending 6 a.m. every day. Just walking, speaking in tongues, walking, speaking in tongues, walking, speaking in tongues. At 3 a.m., the third day, heavy fear came on me. I was shivering. My head was swollen. And devil said, this is the last night you will march. And I remember, there is power in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I took my Bible, I bust in tongue, I said, God, you didn't tell me you are going to kill me at the runabout. <laughs> you told me to march around that the wall will fall down. And the spirit began to leave. At 6 a.m., I was able to take my bicycle, go home, and give thanks. And I said, no more. <laughs> Quarter to five, 15 minutes before five, God said, tonight, you have one hour more. You are going back tonight at, you are going back 12 midnight today. I summed up courage. I took my bicycle. Before I got to the runabout, there were several sacks of goats and dogs cut into pieces with my name written on the plates. For the first time, my bishop, I heard, fear not. Everybody say, fear not. Fear not. Now, if you are told that your name is used, that's good. But for you to see your name used, that's horrible. <laughs> I looked at this plate, my name. I looked at this plate, my name. And I realized the Bible says that devil is under our feet. So I marched on them and spoke in tongue and spoke in tongue and spoke in tongue. The fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, the seventh day, I announced Benin City Bender State, Nigeria is free. <laughs> say hallelujah. hallelujah. You say, what did you do? That's all I did. What happened the next week? The head of the witchcraft in the town died. The third week, the chief of all court in the town died. In nine days, there were over 30 dead of the men that were in charge of the power of darkness in my town. Today, 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 when you say, Benson Idahosa, <laughs> that's a terrifying name. Everybody said terrifying. <laughs> the things that used to frighten the people will now frighten them. The kingdom is a power of substitution, a power of replacement. That is why we are in Atlanta. When we get back home, we will be able to announce from Sunday the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. Say hallelujah. We are not here for another conference. We are here for life-changing Congress. We are here to learn how to invade the path of business. Go to technology. Go to industry, go to science, go to housing, go to education, go to medicine, go to hotels, go to banking, take over. <laughs> Say, take over. <laughs> Say, take over. Take over. Take over.
we were told before Africans have no money. We agreed, and then we had no money. But now, we have a big God who have money. Yeah. If you hear me, say hallelujah. hallelujah. All right. The kingdoms of, our, of this world has become, say become. become. That's what you are going to go home and find out. Where exactly is the headquarters of demons in your city, in your society? Social gospel cannot change a society. Little him cannot change a society. I thank God for what you did tonight. Those things can, little him, old ancient and modern King James or New James Version cannot change the society. Power of God can change a society. Can you say kingdom power? kingdom power? That's the only answer for this world's problem. All right. Scripture number two. John chapter four. Verse 24. God is a spirit. Is that in your Bible? Say it again. Say with me. And they that worship him must, must worship him in spirit and in truth. Must worship him in spirit and in truth. Other places of the Bible, when we talk of worship, God bid you, come serve me, come follow me. But here is a must. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. In John chapter 6, from 63rd verse, it says the arm of flesh will fail you. Do you understand what I'm talking? Yeah. All right. If God is a spirit, how can we worship him in spirit and in truth when Holy Ghost doesn't play piano? <laughs> Holy Ghost does not sing solo. Human beings sing solo. How do I become part of the spirit of God? First John chapter 4. That's my message. April 2nd, 1989, God told me, preach this message at the Congress next year. One year and six months later, I'm here. First John chapter 4. Verse 12. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us. And his love is perfected in us. Verse 13. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us. On Sunday I spoke to you about Christ in God, God in Christ, Christ in you. Today, hereby know we, we can know. Hereby know we that we dwell in him. And 
and he in us because in him excuse me because he had given us he has given us he has given us God is a spirit he has given us God is a spirit. He has given us. God is a spirit. Bishop, God is a spirit. He has given us of his spirit. Ma'am, what's your last name? Pork. How did you get it? You married this man. Was that your first name when you were small? You got it. This man gave you. How many years now? 44 years. Is your dad angry? Is your mama angry? Are your children angry? How did you become Mrs. Paul? He gave you his name. How do we become God? He gave us his spirit. What is God? What is God? What is God? What has he given us? What God? What has he given us? Spirit. Say spirit. God. Say God. It's a spirit. He has given us of the of of the spirit out of whom he is. He has made us whom we are. What is God? What are you now? The spirit. Only spirit can defeat the flesh. When the spirit of God possess you, become you, verse <laughs> 17, herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because because, 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 as he is in heaven, so are we in this world. Everybody said this world. Said this world. The equipment to transform our generation. The power to transform our generation. The power to change our nations, our cities, our communities has been willed to us by Christ. Are you hearing me? The Spirit of God is different from speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues is a power to charge your battery. Speaking in tongues 
is the power to saturate you and put your spiritual battery into charging power. But the Spirit of God is the ability of the changing power from flesh to spirit and spirit to flesh merging together to become God in a little way. If it was what it was, if it is still what it was, government will tell you you can't put a church there. Because you are in the flesh, you run. Now that you are in the spirit, you say, Mr. Hub, see me at 9 o'clock. We need to put this here, this here, this here, this here, this here. Mrs. Davis or Miss Davis, see me at 10 o'clock. We need this, we need this, we need this, we need this. The spirit that God gave you, which is of him. How many know that if Jesus needed a house, he will send for the governor? You didn't believe that. How many of you know that Jesus will not kneel down to any governor and say, please give me a land? <laughs> Why? Who owns land? Jesus. I say, who owns land? Jesus. Who owns the earth? Jesus. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Whose spirit do you have now? Jesus. We will get to it. If the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead Dwell in you. He shall quicken your mortal bodies. Say hallelujah. Kingdom. Say kingdom. Say kingdom. He has given us of his spirit. Fine. If these are so. What Christ is in heaven is whom we are on earth. In heaven, there's no argument and there is no contest. But if we are here, whom he is there. I'm talking to the wrong people. Am I right? Are you the right people? I say, are you the right people? All right. If whom he is in heaven is now whom we are on earth, as he is in heaven, so are we in this world. One angel disobeyed God in heaven. And God cast him down with demons. Okay. Test. But if we are here whom he is there. I'm talking to the wrong people. Am I right? Are you the right people? Yeah. I say, are you the right people? Yeah. All right. If whom he is in heaven is now whom we are on earth. As he is in heaven, so are we in this world. One angel disobeyed God in heaven, and God cast him down with demons. All right? When the other angels knew that God can cast somebody down, they started to behave themselves. <laughs> After Lucifer and demons, there had never been another cast down from heaven. Why? They found that the God of peace and mercy had become the God of fight. The Bible said there was war in heaven. That's what the Bible, my own Bible, I don't know what the American version said. But the Bible from Mexico said so. And I know my bishop's Bible says so. There was war in heaven. 
when all the angels discover that Archangel Michael is the Archangel of War, and that he has sought to cast down Lucifer, and God appointed him as ministering angel to do the war. Everybody said, from now, no more attempt to take over from God. <laughs> Everybody said, no more attempt no more to take over take from, God. from God. God is the most high. God is most high. Since that day, 6,000 years now, the most high have lived in peace. I read that in my Bible. And I read, as he is in heaven, so are we ought to be. Let's use ought. Should have been. Say should have been. In this world. But that's not what is in the Bible. The Bible didn't say ought. The Bible didn't say should have been. The Bible says so are we. Okay. If we are not in charge, we are yet to be in charge. Don, if as he is in heaven, so are we in this world. That looks like a scripture. <laughs> that looks like a Bible. Of his spirit, he has given us of his spirit. That means in grammar, part of whom he is, is whom we are. That's English, good one. Yeah. <laughs> he had given us of his spirit. Whom he is, is whom we are. Who are the new you and me? Part of of his spirit. Who is the new Bishop Park? The new Bishop Park has been transfused by transformation, regeneration, and transfer of power between God and him. God said, okay, I'm chairman in heaven. You are chairman in Dakota. It's a very simple arithmetic. How do I become of God by his spirit? Who is God? Spirit. Who is in charge of heaven? God. Who is to be in charge of Chapel Hill Harvester? You. Oh God. It works in Africa. It works there. I found out that there are three governments between heaven and hell. The government of God, the government of demons, and the government of man. All right? Demons have their own government, heaven have their own government, and man have their own government. Mr. Bush is in charge of United States by constitution. All right? Do you agree he's the president of the United States? Yes. In the order of God, you are the president of your house. Yes. God is in charge of heaven. Yes. You are in charge of your house, yes. your community, yes. your business. How? The same power God uses in ruling heaven is giving you of it to rule. That's why the Bible says a bishop must first be a ruler. Church, wake up. Everyone say, 
church, wake up. Let us begin to invade and venture to business life with kingdom power. Do you know what the world does today, Bishop Mayor? When they see a Christian with money, they say, are you no more a Christian? We tell you people are Christian. Christian don't like money. What do you want to do with it? I thought you are saved. You are going to heaven. Whereas the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and all things are yours by Christ Jesus. We told the devil, take over. Now the devil is saying to us, why are you going to come here? You gave it to me. You know how we sing? Take the whole world, but give me Jesus. Take the whole world, but give me Jesus. Take the whole world, take the whole world, but give me Jesus. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. So the world said, fine, thank you. <laughs> what God gave us, we opened our two eyes and gave it to unregenerated, reprobate, homosexuals, fornicators, adulterers, we voluntarily gave what God gave to us to the world and we began to sing, I fly away, oh, fly, fly, I, soon and very soon, soon and very soon, soon and very soon. Where are you flying to? <laughs> Jesus said, Tara till I come back. Yes. Occupy till I come. Yes. Now Jesus said, Behold, I come quickly. Yes. And you are flying away. You may miss yourself on the way. And he asked you to occupy. That's a disobedient to fly. <laughs> Do I make sense? Because I want to dance. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God, now you. Everybody, I want to see you move. 